It's the same box over again. Yes, because it's a magical box for magic buttons. <laughs> Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to take a close look at the Play Computer SP30. This one has been sent in by Magic Button to check out and review here on the channel. So if you're interested don't forget to check out the web shop for more awesome and obscure systems. Well, let's see what we're going to get. I'm, I've noticed that there are two different versions. I'm getting the Black Edition. It comes with this very weird looking console. I have never seen it. It's not that really bootleg for something. I have really no clue what it is. So I think we just need to unpack it. It comes with 30 games built in. I have to be very gentle with unboxing and it's brand new. So <laughs> in ceiling time. All right, so let's see what we're going to get. It comes with this folder. Kind of basically called this in manual, but it's right in English. Ah comes again with 30 games. All right, let's see what we're going to get. Unpack it very gently. Ugh. Plastic. It comes with the system itself. The reset button. Ah, oh, chemical plastic. Power, reset. It has a car switcher so we can play original Famicom games. Here we have the connectors at the front and at the back we're finding input for power and output for Analog RCA. Yes, it is really old school. I think it's produced in 2016. Yeah, I like this model. I don't know what it's... it's not a rip-off or something, but okay. Because with a... Does this one come with a power supply? Yes, it does. Oh. I did review different versions and those had... An... Why this one is 6 volts? Man, this is really confusing. Some of them have... 5 volts, some have the 6 volts, some come with these controls. Oh my god, can you make it more confusing? And here we have the cable for the signal output. The controllers itself. Yeah, I think this is the basic controller we get with all of these bootleg systems or fake consoles. Come on, the tape is really sticky. Come on! Ah. 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 What? Wait, what? Did they... Did... <laughs> oh, did he change the, the square and the circle? Look at this. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, they're ripping off the PlayStation. I don't know why we these rubbery buttons. Wow. Wiggle buttons, people. Don't stop moving, baby. Honey, bunny, drive it crazy. Wiggle, wiggle, woo! Wiggle, wiggle! But you get the point. The D pad, it feels horrible, so I'm very curious how this is going to play. We're using the original NES connector, so if you want to use an original controller, that is just, this is just not, a, this is not a problem. Alright, let's hook it on and let's see what we're going to get. Alright, so this is not good at all. Is the signal problem? No, it's an internal problem. <laughs> Oh, okay, do you know what? Forget about it. We're just going to play the games like this. It's getting worse, people. It's getting worse. But the device is filled with all of these homebrew games. Next one. So... I have noticed that they're exactly the same games like the previous model I've reviewed, the Pokemon edition. So the outside and the inside are basically the same. Alright, let's try this one. This is more like a snake game. Reset. Okay, this is basically unplayable. <laughs> I cannot see. I can't see anything. Oh, 
So yeah, you're getting the point that the system is filled with uh, homebrew games. Yeah, no licensed game. They are not naughty this time. All right, so if you want to see what kind of games are on the system, I did make this Pokemon video or Pokemon lookalike system. This is what you're going to get with this. Uh, it's a little bit of a bummer that it doesn't work. I'm guessing the cartridge slot has the same problem. Let's grab a game. Let's grab a game, my friends, and let's put it in. Wow. Oh. Alright. So if I'm putting in a game, this happens. <laughs> nothing. Attempt number two, but no. Nothing happens, people. A red screen, a black screen, but no. Uh, it's not getting any signal from the cartridge. Alright, so for the final conclusion about this bootleg system. It's a little bit of a bummer that it didn't, didn't work out of the box. Uh, it seems to be that's still happening nowadays with these play computer things. The design itself, I think it's a really funny design. And it's more like an obscure console collectible. So the controller itself, it's not bad at all. It has a horrible feeling to it, but yeah, it's an NES controller. You can use your original NES controller if you have one that basically works. So this is what you're going to get. If the thing works, I think it's pretty fine. Like the previous model, the Pokemon edition I've reviewed. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell for more awesome wicked content and obscure systems. And if you're interested in working products, they are basically working because yeah, it's just a manufacturer problem that happens. You can check out the Magic Button website. They have a lot of obscure systems, a lot of crazy awesome stuff over there. So, I want to thank you for watching. Again, already said it. Never mind. Let's go.